I'm always one step behind Wishing I could read your mind But I'm ready Yeah, never ready I wish I could have made it stop The first time that you stood me up I wasn't ready Yeah, never ready After a few weeks of trying to meet Jen for lunch and her being really busy, we finally found a day and we went for lunch as a way and it was pretty good actually. I had a pulled pork sandwich something and it was actually surprisingly good. Uh, I was shocked in a good way, shocked in a good way. Um, so I came home and, and I figured I really need to start sorting this living room out and I've managed to make it a mess. It's just one big mess. <laughs> These are a load of spare bits from IKEA stuff that I've been installing. Um, some box of wires, some drill bits, because I've been drilling speaker mounts onto the walls, amphitheater's in there, the Wi-Fi's in there, I've been hooking up my PlayStation and stuff. Basically, there's a lot of bits and pieces that need to make their way into these cabinets. So they're not on the floor in the living room because it looks a state. And I've been procrastinating, doing like a little bit of time, a little bit of time, it's just so slow. I also put this vent on here to cover the small hole where the fireplace was, um, but it's shit. I don't like the colour, it's too bold um, and the screws won't hold. I'm thinking of either going for a plain white one and, and maybe even painting that so it fits in, blends in with the wall a bit better, or maybe like a brushed aluminium one, so like a matte, a matte silver. So it's just, it's just in your face, it's shiny, it's distracting, I don't like it, I don't like it at all. So I need to change it, plus it's a bit bent so it won't sit properly and the, the screws won't grip into it. I lost the screws, I bought for it, I bought some nice round head ones and I just put some silver ones just to test it. So I could see if it's any good because I was a bit concerned it might be a bit too gold. Are you comfy down there mate? Are you comfy? Resting your chin on my foot? No! You loving that? Oh, that's some good scratching. There. I have no idea what Jen's got me watching, but there are currently naked people on my TV. What's this? Life stripped bear. I don't know what it's about. She just said it's supposed to be really good, and then naked people appeared. What is it? It's a show about people who've lost, got to live without all of their stuff for 21 days. It's a bit weird. It's not something I really fancy watching while eating dinner, but Jen seems to think it's fine. So, we're watching Naked People. We're gonna go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. We're going for a walk. Let's yeah! go for a walk. I can't believe it. I posted a picture of the living room on Twitter and someone said we need to hide the cables, which is a brilliant idea and we're definitely gonna be doing that. But I don't really like the conduit you can get from most of the, the DIY shops. It doesn't look great and I was wondering if there's an alternative. So I thought of a much, much, much better idea that may or may not work. Now, I was showing you before that um, brass plate that I don't like. And obviously there's a cables dangling down, let me show you. Oh, and there's a dog. So we have the brass plate, the cables dangling down, and we want them to be gone, hidden. Now, we've got a solid brick wall, there's no way to kind of like get into it, and I've just finished decorating it, so I'm not going to dig holes in the wall to hide them. So, what I thought, Jen and I, after having a bit of discussion, was we're going to get an MDF panel about that wide, between these two fingers here, about that wide, that goes from just behind here, on, on the counter, to just behind the TV. So it's going to go like that. And then there's going to be a matching one that peeks out just at the top. So it looks like there's a panel that goes down. We're going to stick battens on the wall. Um, and then we're going to have some sheets of wood that we can paint either white or other colours to match the colour scheme of the room. Um, but we're going to have them so they Velcro onto the batten. So if we change the colours of the room, because you'll notice everything's really neutral in here now. And we're going to add colour using soft furnishings, pictures, like this one up here. Like that one, just there. So what we'll probably do, focus on me. What we'll probably do is take the, the main colour from that picture, for example. And then paint these panels the same colour. 
and then because they're velcroed on if we want to change the colour scheme we just need to take the pictures off the wall change a couple of scatter cushions and either a repaint this piece of wood or make another piece of wood the same size and just stick it on instead it's going to be great i think it's going to be a really good novel way of hiding those cables and it had has the added benefit of getting rid of that unsightly vent that i just I just, we just don't need a vent there anymore because we just leave the hole in the wall and just cover it with this panel and i think it will be great jen likes the idea i like the idea if you like the idea give us a big old thumbs up and, and let us know what color we should paint it if you don't think we should paint it, maybe we should put wallpaper on it. I don't know, there's so many things we can do. If we try it and we don't like it, we just take it off the wall and do something different. But we thought it might be a good way to hide those cables and not have plastic conduit stuck to the wall. Anyway, tell us what you think. I'm sat here watching the catch. I don't know if you, there you go, I'm watching the catch. New episode, but I fancied a bit of a snack. So I got myself uh, some salted peanuts. Focus on that some raisins and some dark chocolate chips. Mix them in the bowl because it's super tasty. The sweet and the salty nature is awesome. Hello. Sit here. Sit here. Say hello. Hello. Oh, you broke them. You killed our friends.